So, Coach Pack, uh, I love doing the tours around here. I love driving around this place and the side-by-side, the, -side, the mule, right? And I love the, the, the land. It actually inspired me to, to buy land. Did you remember, do you remember I that? Do, I remember that. Yeah, I, like, remember I, like, that. I was like, this is awesome and I want land. So I went home and I bought five acres of woods, right? And so you really, banned it. I, I, you really, seriously, this is not a joke. I'm not, not a gimmick. But, you know, the vision for you in this place. This started out as an orphanage. Then it became a Lutheran home. Then it was... Retirement, retirement home. Retirement home. It's, this is an old elementary building, school building, right? I mean, so th there's been a lot of stuff here at Legends of Golden Beers for South Dakota. How did you have the vision? I mean, we've talked about this before, right. but your vision coming from Quincy to, to Beersford, you know, Cody goes to up to Brookings to South Dakota State. You come here and you guys, it's like, it was, it's the field of dreams for us, right? right? You build it, they will come, and they have. But but talk about the vision here and, and you know, what's the, what, where's the ceiling at, man? Where do you go next from here? You know, I, I don't, like, in my mind, there's never a ceiling to anything. I mean, it's just like it's just like training. You tell a kid that you can, you can exceed anything, and, and when you get to one level, you keep pushing to the other level. To me, there's no there's no ending to any story unless you decide to close the book. And uh, with us, we've you know done single small progressions every year, um, and then we have one huge project that's been a dream of mine uh, by working with the U.S. national staffs and so many of the athletes. What I found out is that. You know, we're really lacking the ability to bring in international competition at a price that allows uh, teams to come over and, and compete, stay, and train for long periods of time because um, other training sites that they could use are very expensive. This is affordable, you know, and it, but look, look at the progression from all those different things, orphanage, you know, retirement home, elementary school, Lutheran home, you know, Lutheran school. Uh, you look at all that, and, and you guys started down in that room, that weight room. I just shot a video down in your weight room. There's some people down there getting jacked right. up, right? That was your weight, your wrestling room. Now that's a weight room. Now you got this three men. You got the, one of the biggest wrestling rooms I've ever seen stand alone. When you look at progression, and you look at like how do, you, where's your vision come from, and how do you decide that? Yeah, we're gonna break down. We're gonna build. We're gonna build this. We're gonna build that. We got. We want more dorms. We want another wrestling room. We need more of this. We need more of that. Where does that come from? I, I like to listen to what 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 the athletes and what people are telling me, and the coaches are telling me they need across the country. And um, and obviously we have we had eighteen to twenty states here last year, and we travel a lot and. We have people overseas that say, I want to come to America. I want to come and train for two weeks at a time, three weeks at a time. But I can't go to, you know, sometimes the OTC is expensive. Sometimes it's hard to get in. Sometimes, you know, based on their black audience, et cetera, because of other teams coming in. So I came up with the idea that I wanted to start uh, an international training complex. And I've been putting this together for about a year and a half with the work of a lot of people. Um, you know, I've worked with, I've talked to Gary about my vision. I've talked to Matt Lemon about my vision. I've talked to other people at USA Wrestling, the administrative department about the vision. I just wanted to do something that's completely different than everybody. So we've been trying to secure about a million dollar project uh, to put in a six, uh, six mat competition, uh, 60 brand new dorms and seating for up to 500 uh, spectator event center on campus here. So what we'd be able to do is bring teams in from other countries and our own teams domestically um, and be able to run, I want to run quarterly, uh, I want to run quarterly senior level tournaments out of this building and give our American athletes as well as other athletes overseas to, to come over, do a training camp, compete in the tournament and a chance to make money on our own soil rather than having to spend, you know, three to $4,000 to go somewhere else to do it. You know, that's, that's a lofty vision, right? You know, everything you've done, though, has been a lofty vision. Um, is there any doubt in your mind you can't get this done in the next three, five, ten years? Well, I, I know now that ground will be breaking in the next 90 days. We, you know, so we're talking three months. Yeah. Uh, we, wow. We just, uh, you know, our, our biggest partner has been Sanford and uh, Sanford Power, Sanford Health, and, and they've been amazing to us. And, you know, we've worked with them over several years now to continue to, to do things with us. And, and their new sponsorship allowed us over the edge to be able to really push the entire thing through along with some other private sponsors that we've secured along with uh, the city of Beersford that has agreed to help 
along with uh, in-kind contractors that are doing work for us. Um, and we're gonna have this complex up and running by next summer. So we'll have six additional mats, sleeping quarters for 60 more uh, with our own private showers. And we're gonna be running international kids out of here uh, no later than we're hoping uh, June 1st of next year. I know you're not a mind reader, but you know my mind's blown, right? Because that, like, what you're saying, that's not easy to do. That's a, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, but, I mean, there's no question in your mind you can't get it done, but who else do you think, you know, what really has, has given you the vision for this? You know, you've got vision for making a place that nobody thought could be a wrestling training facility, right. a field of dreams for, for wrestling. Where's the vision come from for you, Terry? You know, I, I think a lot of it comes back to just my youth. You know, I came from a single family, a, you know, single parent family, and we never had the opportunity to do these things in a small rural town in Iowa. You know, there's lots of opportunities in New York City for things, and there's lots of opportunities in big cities, but there's no opportunity. You know, I call it, people laugh at me, I call this the rural, the rural wrestling development because it gives everybody a chance to come here and train that wouldn't have the opportunity because of where they live to do it right here. And obviously the city people can, can get here from, from California, which they are, Louisiana this week. And I came from Portland, Oregon. Right. Yeah. I mean, we've got people all over the country here. Um, so we're super excited about that. But more importantly, I'm, I'm super excited to give the opportunity um, by working with Sanford and other nonprofits, since we are a nonprofit, to work together and uh, build something that's special for kids. And, uh, you know, this year we gave almost $20,000 away in scholarships, and that's, that's a big thing to me.